be times where you want to cut out an object and have a transparent background and place it in InDesign. Well, this is a tutorial on how to do that. First, you want to find the appropriate tool in Photoshop. And the appropriate tool is called the Quick Selection Tool. And you want to pick a, a brush that works with your image. And for this image in particular that I want to cut out from the background, I'm going to choose a brush around 2021. And I'm going to go ahead and click in the coffee mug. And all I'm doing is slowly clicking and letting go of the mouse and letting it select for me the edges of the coffee mug. So I'm being very, very, very slow at this, but sometimes it speeds up when it can see the distinct edges. So all I'm doing is clicking and dragging and letting go of the mouse each time. And this will create your cutout. Now notice up here in the handle, I, I don't want this handle part. And so to do the opposite of a cutout, so something you want to remove, you just hit your option key and it turns into a minus sign. And in here, it'll select what you don't want. I kind of want this nice yellow edge here. So I'm going to just not click the option key and go back to adding that yellow edge here. Now this is a little messy here. I could go in here and add some, which I just did. And I want to look around and make sure that I have the entire object. I'm going to pull this out just a little bit up here. Grab that. I want that little edge and so forth. Now I can still fix this in this next part that I'm about to show you. So unfortunately I worked on my background layer, but that's not a problem. I can just make a copy now and close the eyeball of the first background layer. So I'm still working in this background copy here. After creating a background copy, the very next thing I want to do is create a mask. And a mask allows me to kind of clean up my cutout a little bit. So you want to make sure you have your mask panel selected up here. And if you can't find it, you can go to Window, Masks, and it'll appear here on the side. Now I'm just going to click on this mask icon here, and it puts it on a transparent background. So as you can see, I didn't do too good of a job up here on the coffee cup, but that's fixable. I'm just going to take the magnifying glass here in Photoshop and come in here and zoom in so I can see what I'm doing. Now you're going to use a brush tool for this part, and I'm going to select the brush tool, and I want to select a little bit higher brush than two, maybe about 15. Okay, And then the other thing I want to do is make sure I have the right color selected. So if you remember this little trick, white reveals black hides. White reveals black hides. And whatever's in the front, in the foreground, is what you want showing. So if I want to reveal what I didn't cut out, I'm going to use white. White reveals, and I have a brush selected. And now I'm going to come in here and just sli slightly go over my image a little bit to get that nice round edge that I didn't get before. So I'm just cleaning that up a little bit. And let's see if there's any other part of my coffee mug. Oh, there's some parts here. Look at this. I got a little bit of the background in here and I want to clean that up. So white reveals black hides. So I'm going to switch this over. And now I want to go in here with my brush. But my brush is pretty large, right? So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Bring it down in size. And now I can go in here and delete some of that background that I just happened to miss. Okay, Same here with the handle. I didn't do a very good job in here. So I want to make sure my brush is selected and I can come in here and kind of clean that up as well. So all I'm doing is just cleaning this up. Now I'm actually taking out some of the handles, so I don't really want to do that. So I'm just going to do Command-Z to help me there. I'm going to smooth this out a little bit. So it's not the best, but it just gives you an idea of how to make a cutout. The last thing you want to do is kind of smooth those edges out a little bit. 
So I'm just going to do mask edge. And in here, I'm going to smooth my edges just a little bit. I'm also going to add a little contrast. So this will make it really, really sharp edges, right? And shift dead, um, what that does is it actually chokes your image. It comes in a little bit, or you can expand your image, the, the edges of it. So I'm going to come in a little bit on the edges, just a tad. And I like to decontaminate my colors. What that means is when you pull something off a background, your edges of your object are actually have a little bit of transparency on them, so it's not so pixelated. And so by decontaminating the colors, it takes some of that transparency off the edges, so you don't have any of the background showing in any way. So I'm just going to click on that and then hit OK. OK, so here's my coffee mug. And now I want to bring that into InDesign. So I'm going to go to File, Save As, and I'm going to call this Coffee Mug 2 since I've worked on this, I uh, did a trial run earlier. So Coffee Mug 2, and I'm going to hit Save. And notice when I saved it, I'll do it again, I saved it as a Photoshop file. I didn't save it as a JPEG because I want the transparency to stay. I saved it as a Photoshop file. So now I want to bring this object into InDesign. So I'm just going to open up InDesign, so I have an untitled document. And I want to go ahead and save this. First thing you want to do is always kind of save your InDesign file so that when your images are placed in your InDesign document, there's a link, right? So it knows what document it's linking to. I have a name here. It's not called Untitled 4. It's called Coffee Mug 2. I'm going to go ahead and save that in my project folder. And I'm going to work in layers. I like working in layers. If you can't find your layers, you can always go to Window Layers, and then the panel will, will be called up. So my first layer, just for demonstration reasons, I'm going to draw a box. And I want to give this box a color, so I'm just going to click on this foreground here, pick a color, like blue. And there's my box. I can even name my layer. I'll call this layer box. Now I'll bring in my object that has a transparent background, so I'm just going to create a new layer. I'll call this coffee mug. And now I'm ready to bring in my coffee mug. I can go to File, Place, find my coffee mug to PSD, and I can really place it anywhere on the page. And I want to make sure my layer is selected. And I'm going to place it here, and I can move it around accordingly. You can also wrap text around it and so forth, but you can see how it's an object with the background cut off and it's on its own layer. If I didn't create a layer, it would be attached to this box, and I couldn't really have the control of moving it around. So that's why I created a new layer. And that's how you put an object with a transparent background and cut it out and place it in InDesign.